welcome to Shermina's channel. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so and thank you for following me on Facebook. I'm not a medical professional, but since I've had hypothyroidism for the last 10 years, I'm only sharing my experiences. So hypothyroidism is a condition where there isn't enough thyroid hormone in your bloodstream and your metabolism slows down. However, it's manageable disease, so not to worry. The main job of thyroid is to control your metabolism when the thyroid is underactive. And when it is, your whole body feels like it's slowing down. Thyroid problems can have a ripple effect throughout your body. My last video, we discussed a few signs and symptoms. Number one, fatigue. Number two, puffy face. Number three, muscle weakness. Number four was mood depression. Let's talk about few more symptoms today. Number five, weight gain. Oh, that's a big thing. That's a complaint everybody has. So one of the biggest concern with hypothyroidism is weight gain. There's a good chance you'll gain weight anyway if you indulge in not so healthy diet or stay away from gym. However, with hypothyroidism, even if you're stuck firmly to your diet and work out religiously, the numbers on the scale can still creep up. The hormones your thyroid gland releases help regulate your metabolism or how efficiently your body burns food for energy. It's not easy, let me tell you. See your weight creeping up. You would ask yourself, but I'm doing everything right. I am taking care of my diet. I am taking care of my weight. Watch what I eat. I do a little workout. I go for walks. Now, one way to manage weight gain is by taking the thyroid hormone medication your doctor has prescribed. A lot of people struggle finding the right medication or the medication that works for them. Your doctor will start you on a minimum dose and gradually increase until you find the dose that is optimal for you. Speaking of medication, People ask me about side effects. Let me be honest. Every medication has side effects. You Google Tylenol and you'll see nausea, tiredness, fatigue, vomiting, paleness, excessive sweating, and all you're doing is taking Tylenol. Reality is no pain, no gain. I'm not promoting medication, but hey, if it works, why not? I know a lot of people who try naturopath route, they feel better whatever works and once you find the right medication the right dose that jackpot your healthcare provider will monitor your blood test on a regular basis and find out the right dose that works for you number six elevated cholesterol level before we get to cholesterol let's understand thyroid hormones and its effect so thyroid hormones help heart, brain, and other organs to work properly. Even slightly low levels of thyroid hormones can cause a spike in cholesterol. Cholesterol circulates through your blood in two types of packages called lipoproteins. HDL, high density lipoprotein, good for your heart, good cholesterol. LDL, low density lipoprotein, bad cholesterol, bad for your heart. Again, right medication, heart healthy diet and working out is the key. Starting from low walk to high intensity exercise, whatever your body can take for as long as there is movement, that's the key. Because when you have thyroid, you have fatigue and when you have fatigue, it's so hard to function because you can barely get out of the bed, let alone working out. But it's all to do with one step at a time. It's all about your mindset as well. Number seven, impaired memory or brain fog. 
Many patients with hypothyroidism complain of mental fogginess and trouble concentrating. One of the symptoms of hypothyroidism that can include cognitive problems. Personally, I sometimes open the fridge door and take a moment and ask myself, why am I here? Or forgetting my keys and look for it everywhere. And worse, I keep looking for my glasses everywhere until I realize, oh, it was on my head. Difficulties in memory or concentration can happen to anyone, but when thyroid hormone is low, it can affect your memory span and ability to concentrate. Just that thyroid problems can cause mild thinking, memory and concentration issues. Staying active has an important effect on the brain. P.S. Thyroid Hypothyroidism can happen to men and women and all ages, just like women are more likely to get it. All symptoms go from mild to severe. If you have any unusual symptoms and if you think it's impacting your life, talk to your doctor, seek treatments. For those who have asked me what I take, I am on levothyroxine, I take cholesterol meds, I take high blood pressure meds, so hey, I will be talking about that. Hope this video helps. Until next time, stay healthy, stay happy, stay safe, keep watching Sharmina's channel. Until then, goodbye for now.